I put on one of my most dignified t-shirts for today's topic. Human dignity. You see, I was doing some research recently for a variety of topics for a variety of videos I plan to soon make. I found myself on an official government website called Bundesregierung.de and I started reading about German basic law or the Grundgesetz. And the more I read, the more it got me thinking about like the American Constitution and how like when it comes to like the basic human rights to the people, they are sort of added on as amendments. Whereas it seems here in Germany, I mean, they're starting right off the bat, basic rights. Number one, human dignity. The German people therefore acknowledge inviolable and inalienable human rights as the basis of every community and peace and justice in the world. The following basic rights shall bind the legislature, the executive, and the judiciary as directly applicable law. I'm just saying, it sort of feels like Germany puts basic human rights first. In fairness, the American Constitution, I believe, has something in their preamble about promoting the general welfare. I mean, dignity is inviolable. Let's just think for a second what that means. According to Wikipedia, dignity is the right of a person to be valued and respected for their own sake and be treated ethically. It is a significance in morality, ethics, law, and politics, and an extension of the Enlightenment era concepts of inherent inalienable rights. The term may be used to describe personal contact as in behaving with dignity. And invaluable, invaluable is defined as never to be broken, infringed, or dishonored. And as often happens with my attention deficit disorder, my brain started wandering all over the place. I started thinking about how I could see this reflected in society. Don't get me wrong, the rest of the articles of the German basic rights are also damn interesting, but we're gonna dig into that in another video, maybe even multiple, because there's a lot there to cover. I'm just saying, I really admire that human dignity is right at the top when it comes to, do I dare call this the German constitution? It's right at the top of defining the laws of this land. And the effect that that has can be seen in a lot of different ways. Like, just for one example, when you start researching poverty rates based on the percentage of the population, and you find that Germany has approximately around 9.8% poverty rate, and U.S. has 20.5%. I'm just saying, I like uh, innocent children to live with dignity. Or even worse, what if you look at the statistics for infant mortality? Based on deaths per 1,000 births, Germany's at approximately 3.2. The U.S. is at 6.0. What about when I think about a family, you know, maybe not even in poverty, just having a baby, parental leave? Well, in Germany, I think parental leave is somewhere around 58 weeks. And you also have protections about keeping that job. In America, it's zero weeks, according to the government. That just leads my brain to start thinking about all the various programs I saw here that make it easier, even when you don't have a lot of money, to raise your child, let's say, in a little bit of a more dignified manner. For example, think about Kindergeld. This is a program here run by the government that when you have a child here, you're going to receive a little bit of assistance to raise that kid. I think it's around 210 to 235 euros a month directly put into your bank account. And no matter what your financial status, you can take that child to go to the doctor or God forbid it has health issues, get all of the treatments it needs without driving yourself into debt and struggling. And I'm pretty sure the parental leave here in Germany provides for the men as well. And I think you'll find also that these laws also apply to same-sex couples as parents. I respect that. 
It feels like in America, I know there are companies that give parental and maternal leave, but um, being more up to date with what I would say most of Western society is doing in the way of respecting also same-sex couples and also giving men time off when they have a baby, I feel like America is a little more behind in that. The government certainly isn't doing much to make those rights equal all the way across the board. When I think of this human dignity in relation to poverty or just being poor, it makes me think of when I was a 19-year-old single mother and I sought some assistance in America. I qualified for a government program called Women, Infant, and Children, or WIC, and they gave me some big coupons coupons, pieces of paper this big that I could use at supermarkets for things like peanut butter, cheese, milk. That was about it. There wasn't much more. I also qualified for like food stamps back in the day. But what I'm getting at with human dignity, when you use these items at the checkout line, I think even now they have specific cards, you know, more like our bank cards we use here in Germany. When you're on a welfare program in America, you can use a specific card to pay provided to you by the government. What I'm getting at is I remember not feeling very dignified as I stood at the checkout line and everybody around me knew that I was a poor single mother. I didn't feel dignified to be like judged by society and have to basically hold a sign up saying, I'm poor. Here in Germany, when you need the assistance, boy, you gotta go through the bureaucracy and fill out forms and show them a lot of things. But if you qualify for assistance, that money is gonna go into your bank account or go directly towards your rent. Um, and so that you can just like everybody else go and buy your food with your normal bank card. I remember also when I was a 19 year old single mother in America, having to take my son to a government-provided facility for him to get his first baby checkups and immunizations. Packed my baby up, got on the highway, headed direction Philly to one of the most ghetto little medical building I've ever been in. It didn't feel dignified. Here in Germany, if I would have qualified for that assistance, the um, my health insurance would be then picked up so I would still have my medical card, my normal one, like not poor people have, and I could still go to my normal doctor. I could still take my baby to the normal doctor on government assistance here in Germany. That feels a little more dignified. In my time both in America and here in Germany, I have always tried to keep working. But you know, as they say, shit happens, you know? And I have to say, I really see this demand, this basic right to human dignity all over the place here in Germany. When I fell on hard times, I was really surprised how much support I got here. Numbers aside, statistics aside, my own personal experience, it feels like you really do have a little bit more human dignity here. You know, when I think about living a life that includes my right to having some dignity, you can just sniff around a little on the internet in regards to quality of life. I found one website where it rated quality of life index by country. It put Germany at a nine and the United States at number 14. That same website, which has all kinds of statistics, also offers a healthcare index by country for the year 2020. It is Germany at number 17, and America is at 30. And what about dignity in relation to working? Like in America, you can be fired like that at the drop of a hat, get out of here, no more pay. Your employer can even, if you try to go for unemployment, he can go in there and like say things like you were just horrible and that can have an effect on if you get any of the little bit of money they may offer you to help you. And here in Germany, there's all kinds of little social protections and laws where employers just, it's more difficult for them to be shady, let's say. It's more difficult for them. They can't really fire you at the drop of a hat. Pretty much no matter what, if you follow the process and apply for the paperwork, you will get support to help you get on your feet as well as a little guidance to find your next job. 
but based on my own experience here in Germany, you're better off looking for your own job, put your own motivation into it, the stuff they offer me at those offices. But nonetheless, I'm thankful that there is a system set up with resources to help me. And I know there's going to be a few of you, just like on some of my other videos where I do this, who are going to say, you can't compare Germany to America for whatever reason. But I can. I am. And I just did. I don't understand the people that say this to me. Everybody I have ever met in my life that has ever immigrated, moved from one place to another, does this. You compare where you're from to where you are now. I'm just saying that when I started reading the basic laws of Germany and I stumbled on Article 1, Human Dignity, before I read any further, immediately things came to my mind about ways I saw that reflected in the society here in the time that I lived here. It just struck me so much based on my personal experiences that I felt like I had to make this video today. And as an American in Germany, it makes me really wish, it makes me really wish that American politicians would use these words more. Human dignity. I feel like the Americans got a little taste of that through Bernie Sanders, but now he's out of the race. Just starting to look like with the next election, we're going back to more of the same old, same old there in America. More millionaires who profit and have interests in things like the mil military industrial complex and pharmaceutical industry and big business in general instead of the common man. It's still a debate about health care availability for all people. I'm just saying, I think it would be great if those politicians started talking about human dignity in their policies, in their laws, in their actions, for all of their people. I really like the effects of human dignity being a basic right. I like the effects that that has on the society that I live in now. I don't care where you're from, what color your skin is, who you sleep with, who you worship. You have a right to dignity. You have a right. You have a basic right to some human dignity. You do. I want to thank you all for watching today. I'm looking real forward to our live chat soon to celebrate 2,000 subscribers. But until that happens, or until our next video, take care of yourself.